Hello, kindergartners. We're going to start learning about a composer. And remember, a composer is a person who writes music. And we're starting back a long, long time ago with this composer named Hildegard von Bingen. Everybody say Hildegard. Hildegard. Say von. Von. And say Bingen. Bingen. All right, Hildegard von Bingen. She was born in Germany over 900 years ago. She lived from 1098 to 1179. So 11, uh, one, 1098 to 1179. So she lived to be 81 years old, which is a very, very long time for back then. Most people did not live that long back in the, you know, just over 1000, 1098. She was a nun. All right, so a nun is a woman who works for the church, who composed music for the church. Her music was written to be sung by the nuns, since most music at that time was not written for women to sing. There were no instruments in her music, so all you're going to hear is singing. You're not going to hear any instruments. The type of music this is called is called plain song, when it's just, um, just singing, no instruments added. So let's listen to this piece called um, Kyrie by Hildegard von Bingen. So that was Kyrie by Hildegard von Bingen. And I'm going to go over the information about her one time because the next time you come, I'm going to say, what can you tell me about Hildegard von Bingen the next time in the next lesson? She was a nun who was born, and a nun is a woman who works for the church. She was born in Germany over 900 years ago. She lived from 1,098 to, from, to 1,179, long time ago. Lived to be 81 years old, which was very, very rare at that time. Not many people lived that old back then. Um, she was a nun who composed music for the church, so she wrote all the little notes down that she wanted the people to sing. The music was written to be sung by the nuns, since most music at that time was not written for women to sing. There was no instruments in her music, and the music is called plain song. And then the music we learned is, um, the music we listened to, sorry, is called Kyrie. All right, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed learning about Hildegard von Bingen. Her name is kind of backwards there, so just look at her right there. I'll type her name in the lesson. Hildegard von Bingen.